Yes. Yes. Yes, pass the tea please. Hey guys, it's Reagan and today I'm filming a very fun and exciting video featuring a fan. Look, this just makes me feel like I'm like way fancier than I actually am. <laughs> but, so basically, this video is going to be in honor of the release of Dark Days Club by Alison Goodman. If you're not aware, Alison Goodman is actually one of my favorite writers, known for her Eon duology, which I've read and loved. I read this a long time ago as it was releasing and totally loved it. This is a fantasy series deeply inspired by China and has to do with dragons. It's very good. Alison Goodman is coming out with a new book, January 26th, and that is called The Dark Days Club. And this is another historical fantasy novel, but this time it takes place in the early 1800s in London. And in this world, demons have infiltrated all levels of society, and our main character, Lady Helen, has fallen into this club called The Dark Days Club, and they are committed to destroying all these evil demons around town. It sounds so cool. I love historical London settings and demons. It just sounds like it's gonna be really, really awesome, and I love when people have to fight in ridiculously, like, confining dresses. I think it's just more impressive. Like, yeah, you could do it in pants, but try doing it in a ball gown, people. Oh, in honor of the release of this new novel, I was actually sent my own invitation to the Dark Days Club, and I have to see now if I would make it in. Wish me luck. I might need it. But anyway, let's go see, let's see if I qualify to kill demons. So, <clears throat> dear Reagan, we are thrilled to invite you to become a member of the Dark Days Club. To best determine your eligibility to join our ranks, please provide thoughtful and descriptive answers for the following questions. Great, I'm, gr I'm really good at talking. It's like, it's one of my best skills, actually. Question one, how would you rate your ability to engage in combat while wearing a particularly prohibitive ball gown? The likelihood of fighting a demon at court ball is extremely high as they, are, they have infiltrated all levels of society. Well, I might be a little bit rusty on my hand-to-hand -hand combat as I've never taken any hand-to-hand -hand combat training, but I have faith in my ability to learn, right? I mean, I learned how to knit in like two weeks, so I imagine there's some similarities between the two. Both involve great hand-eye coordination, so. One question down. Question two is, on the other hand, have you the coordination to perform courtly dances so as to blend in seamlessly at a high society function? It is yet most important to keep your identity under wraps. Dancing. Well, funny story. I actually have a killer robot, right? Um, I can do the cha-cha slide. I think that, that, does that work? Question three. Are you apt at reading expressions and remembering faces? This will be necessary to in detecting who is true and who is deadly intention in any social circle. This is the one I feel like I'm most qualified for so far. Like, yeah, my hand-to-hand -hand combat skills kind of a low par. My dancing skills a little clumsy, but I'm pretty good at talking to people and like reading their faces. Granted, I've never had the experience of trying to decide if someone is an evil spirit versus just straight up human, but let's be real, there's some interesting people out there in the real world who kind of have some unfortunate intentions or could just be like total like I don't want to talk to you you know you know sometimes real life seemingly reflects demons <laughs> question four should you see an evil spirit or deceiver stealing the life force of an innocent bystander in the shadows of London would you have the courage to apprehend it my question to you letter is how strong are these said deceivers um Again, as referencing the question one, my hand-to-hand -hand combat's not quite there yet, but I'd be really great at, like, if I had, like, a comrade, like a, like a crime-fighting dog, I could send the dog to do it. Or the like. But I mean, like, I feel like if I saw anyone in trouble in real life, I would do as much as I could to help them. I, I don't think I could be a bystander who just saw something bad happening on and just walk home. No, and, and I think that's true for any situation. If you see something you feel is wrong in life, it doesn't even have to be a demon, you should say something. If you don't feel like you can say it yourself, get someone who can enforce what you think should be right. So, life tip. Question five. Have you a friend or relative so trustworthy that they may be your Tareen? A person most necessary to have by your side in a battle and dark creatures. Oh great, so I do get a sidekick. Obviously, Matilda would be my sidekick. Hold on, she would be great at this. She'd be my crime-fighting companion. 
my 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 crime fighting dog she would sniff out the demons and fight them and then blend in because look she kind of has a demonic she doesn't really have a very like you know let me look at her face that's just like apt for blending in among demons am I right question six do you possess any jewelry or objects that look like they might have powers you may not know about it's key to have an adequate instruments to fight deceivers haha -ha. I do own jewelry. That I do own. So for this I have two necklaces. They are a rock and a little tiny pocket watch. And together, the rock, I imagine, in a sane world, gives the pocket watch the power in which to stop time. Duh. These would be my tools to defeat demons. Just wear it. And they go with pretty much any outfit. I'd say they're pretty cute, so that's a win overall. Question seven and the last question is Lastly and most importantly, if you had to choose, would you save your reputation or save the world? Well, this is an easy one. All kidding aside, I'd save the world. My reputation isn't much anyway to begin with. And you know what? If I need to soil myself, hopefully that's like metaphorically soil, um, I would totally do it to save the world. I, I think anyone would. I mean, that's like a lot of people you're saving. You can't just save yourself in social situations and not choose to save the world. That's just bad form. All right, guys, those are my answers to see if I can get into the Dark Days Club. I think I did pretty great, you know? I think my application is gonna just go right through. Everyone's gonna seal it with approval, and I'm gonna be there fighting crime. So watch out for me on the streets if you need help. I got you. But in all seriousness, uh, this book comes out January 26th. It sounds really, really fun. And of course, let me know down below if you would make it into the Dark Days Club. So I would love to know if anyone who watches my videos is like trained in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Like, does anyone here know Jujitsu? Could anyone here teach me Jujitsu? I don't know how to say it. Jujitsu? Anyways, I will see you guys soon with another video soon. Goodbye!